We have all seen celebrities and trust fund babies living the life of luxury, lavish meals, exotic getaways, and the finest things money can buy. But behold the true embodiment of Woodrich, the Dixie State College billionaire, nestled amongst the scenic backdrop of Red Rocks, is a quiet town in southern Utah called St. George. While most know it for the silver-haired residents, it is also home to an institution of higher education. Move over Harvard, because here comes the next Ivy League, Dixie State College. This college has given rise to the next generation of lavish spenders. These kids are not billionaires. They are not even millionaires. They are part of a totally new, mogul, fresh from the financial aid office and standing in a line, a mile long, waiting to use the ATM. This is the billionaire. The first stop after the ATM is the bookstore. But these lads aren't going to buy school books. No way. Armed with their Pell Grant and student loans they are dropping their wads of cash on anything with an apple on it. MacBooks, iMacs, iPods, and of course, the uber trendy iPad. All of those gigs to play Angry Birds and watch YouTube. And of course, they need something stylish to tote their Apple products around. The bag of choice is a designer backpack with wheels. These beauties are not only stylish but functional, and make you look as if you have never lived your childhood. You go girl. You might be able to pick up your sweet wheeled backpack at the hall. That's right, the hall. It's just not big enough, to actually be called a mall and not let someone down. But there is an even better place than the hall, to drop your government-granted coin. Say it with me ladies, the outlets. St. George has some of the world's most sought-after outlets with names like, Dress Barn, Styles for Less, and Urban Wear, just to name a few. Talk about Big Pimpin. All that purchasing can make a pelionaire hungry. Luckily, when it comes to where to eat, the Dixie State Pelionaire has a lot of choices. First, right there on campus, is the Red Rock Cafe. Does that logo happen to look familiar? It should. But I'm sure it was Hard Rock that stole it from Dixie. At the Red Rock Cafe they can choose from the finest cereals the world has to offer. As well as exotic delicacies like a calzone made with 100% fake cheese. And Mr. Meat that they are calling pepperoni. Yummy. But that isn't the only place you will find our pelionaire eating. Off campus there are many tantalizing options. Will you find one eating the most delectable burritos on earth from Chipotle? That is a big fat no. St. George doesn't have a Chipotle. But who needs a good burrito when you could choke down a less than mediocre one from Cafe Rio and have digestive problems for the next three to seven days? Forget seconds, I want thirds. Or what about the ever sketchy all-you-can-eat restaurant? There isn't just one in town. But you have your choice of five. Just watch out for the rush of old people, and their 4 p.m. dinner, or you might catch a walker in the shin, and a lecture about the Great Depression. Now that the pelionaire has got in the latest gadgets and fashion, and filled up on the finest cuisine, it is time to hit the town and experience St. George's ravenously exciting nightlife. Of course there are movie theaters and bowling alleys, as in most towns. But the pelionaire doesn't want to hang out with the common folk. Only a high-class establishment will do. So they get rest up and head off to, um, they go to, um, where do they go? Well they could go and see a rousing game of football, put on by their very own Dixie State College football team. This elite group of athletes specialize in passing and tackling. In their 2010 season they won two games out of ten, and were outscored 348 to 146. Too bad for them, this isn't golf. There is also the time-honored, local tradition of going to what is known as an institute dance. These riotous occasions are sponsored by the predominant religion and held in a large, poorly decorated gym. More often than not, they are themed to a specific decade such as the 70s or 80s. So if you have a case of the boogie fever, and are totally righteous, you know how the old saying goes, if you want to go to a wild dance party, it's probably taking place in, and sponsored by, a church. Now that we have seen the extravagant lifestyle lived by one of these chosen children, we can surely say that these days, more than ever, the life is good for a pelionaire. Whether it be soaking up the sweet southern Utah sun, savoring the bowel-stopping food at Cafe Rio, or shaking a tail feather at the church dance, this is part of the reality at Dixie State College. And that is what we should all love about Dixie, the truly fabulous life of the pelionaire.